There's so much to get through. You have to keep the pace up and show that you mean business. You can't relax with a class like this. They'll just take advantage. Once you've got the learning objectives across, it's good to keep them awake by never letting anyone know who's going to be asked the next question. Those who can't keep up must learn to wait for attention and not disrupt the learning of others. And some of the kids in this class find it impossible to sit still and listen. They need reminding all the time to pay attention. I feel very frustrated when they don't concentrate and can't answer even simple questions. Sometimes I think they try to wind me up because they don't like maths. Maths is a very important subject for them, and they need to do well. They've less time to misbehave if you keep them busy. OK, year eight. Two-dimensional shapes. Eyes front. Now, who's going to give me an example? Come on! We were dealing with this last week, so I expect you all to know. Kirsty, perhaps you can tell us. I went here last week, miss. I was off sick. And you didn't take the trouble to find out what we did? She only came back today. I wasn't talking to you, Anita. Yeah, but it isn't fair. Did I see your hand going up? Did I invite you to speak? You all know the rules. I won't have anyone shouting out, especially when it's got nothing to do with you, all right? Mike, sit up. So, Anita, perhaps you can define a two-dimensional shape. Well, it's like a drawing, and it's flat on the page. There's no front and back to it. Did anyone understand a word of that? A two-dimensional figure, Anita has length and breadth, but no depth. What did I just say, Ryan? How can you expect to learn if you don't pay attention? Write it down, all of you. So, Mike, give me an example of a two-dimensional shape. Um, a rectangle, miss? Correct. Amy, another one. Can you tell us what you have to write down again, please, miss? No. You should listen properly. Come on, I haven't got all day. Another two-dimensional shape. A cube, miss. No. A cube has depth as well as length and breadth. What should she have said, Matthew? No idea, because you're not listening either. Did I tell you to write anything down? Well, at least it's the right answer. It's a square, isn't it? Mike, sit up. I won't tell you again. Right, everyone. Close your eyes. It's a simple enough instruction. Close your eyes. Billy, I'd like you to close your eyes as well, please. Hands away from faces, eyes closed. Right. Now, I want you all to visualise an equilateral triangle. I don't want any questions. I just want you to keep your eyes closed and visualise a white equilateral triangle. It's perfectly straightforward. I really don't like Miss. She just gets us for doing nothing. I spend most of the lesson just trying to stay out of trouble, so I don't bother putting my hand up at all. I'd be wrong anyway. I can't believe how unfair Miss is. It's not Kirsty's fault she was off school. When I gave an answer, Miss just made fun of what I was saying. She then gave some clever answer. She thinks she's so clever. I don't think I'll bother in future. She tells us to write something down and then doesn't explain it. She is so unfair. I think she's a bully. I'll tell her one of these days. Just wait. I was really worried when she told us to close her eyes. That's why I kept them open. I wasn't sure what she was going to do, especially after she'd been shouting at me for most of the lesson. I am so fed up. 
Just look at what I have to put up with. Sometimes I'm surprised to learn anything at all. Then who should walk in ten minutes late? Sally. Again. <laughs>